Hi, it's Zach Cyber here. So, anyway, <laughs> I know that I have other white pants. They go pretty well with my sweater. Anyway, so this is gonna be like part two or whatever of Twilight. Because there's a bed near me. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, so basically, I'm just gonna talk about how I think um, that Jacob and Edward are basically in a secret relationship and like. Those are ones who are really in a relationship, and not Edward and Bella. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, um, based on that, and based on the fact that I think the relationship's made up in Bella's head, and it's not real whatsoever, um, and that it's basically just a bloodbath and... <laughs> just the victim and the predator. Really. Um, that's what I think anyway. So, based on that, um, if you look, and you see it in the movies and everything, and, um, I also thought about this after searching, I'm pretty sure I found this video, so I think other people agree with me, or at least have the same idea, um, about Edward and Jacob being together, because there was a short video and everything of clips of them being together, and it's, it looks, it looks like proof to me. <laughs> and, like, if you think about it, and you see it and everything, um, Edward only shows emotions and expresses, like, his like or whatever towards Bella when Jacob's around. And that, literally, that's, that's it. He only gets into fights and everything. And, like, that all can be explained by just jealousy. And, like, obviously being in her head and being like, he loves me. And, like, they love me. They're fighting over me. No, it doesn't revolve around you. It's not about you. <laughs> but there is some jealousy involved in you. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Like, the whole scene of them, of Jacob, um, being, like, half-naked or whatever, and warming up Bella. Like, he's jealous. Yes, that's very clear, but is he... He's very jealous, and he's very mad at Jacob. Those are both very clear. But is he really mad about the fact that his blood bag is stealing his man? <laughs> or that the blood bag is being taken away from him? <laughs> and being loved by someone else? Yeah, so I, I think, I think it's jealous <laughs> of her taking away his man. I think James is man. And then they fight over territory and things like that. Yeah, um, that's more of like Romeo and Juliet situation. Yeah, I think that's the real Romeo and Juliet, because they're from enemy clans and they're supposed to be enemies, but they just, yeah. <laughs> they fight over who spends time with her fight over the fact that they can't spend time together, and that she's in the way all the time, and that they only get to see each other and spend time together by using her as an excuse, and by seeing each other on neutral territory, like at the school, and just dropping her off, transporting her from one territory to the next territory, from one land to the next, you know? So Edward just only expresses he cares and his affection towards Bella when Jacob is around. And, like, if you take out the occasional words of Bella and she, he's just confessing his love. <laughs> Which actually explains the whole entire problem with the council and everything, and, like, the war, and stuff like that. And why in the world would Jacob team up with Edward? And why would he help in the war, and help fight against vampires and everything in the last book? Like, why would he team up? Why would he separate from his pact and become an alpha? and make his own pack? Why would he need to be def um, on his own? And why in the world would he be mated to an imaginary child? Yeah, no, um, clearly he would actually be mated to Edward. <laughs> and they would have to fight the council and everything to let them be together. <laughs> and they would find a way to unite and find a way around the rules and the territories and all of that, and he'd have to be independent and on his own, in his own pack, and his own rules, so they could spend time together and be together. So yeah, I think they're together, and to me that makes more sense than being Bella, because like, why would you choose a human that's not going to live for very long? It's going to live like maybe a hundred years, probably less, who can die easily, is very light, and like, you're just obsessed with their blood and you just want to drink it all the time. Why would you choose a blood bag? over someone who's gonna stay around and live for just about as long as you 
or at least for hundreds of years. Yeah. And you actually, like, it makes you express and feel emotions. So yeah, that's my thoughts and that's my idea. So that's everything.